Hey everyone, welcome back to my video where we sip and spill the tea on all my favorite things. And today we have another Valerie Shops Amazon adventure. Um, came across this set, seemed pretty interesting. I believe the description said something about it being like a newlywed gift, uh, like a his and her thing. So it came with two guy wands and I think this came in around $20.00. Or $22 so for that it broke down to you know around $10 a guy one and that is a really good deal I wanted to see um, I don't have any red guy wands right now I take that back I've got one my mom gave me but it's uh, red with some print on there and I think I've shown y'all that before but not a primarily all red one so when I saw these I was like you know for the price I'll check it out. And what I love about shopping on Amazon is that, I'm getting a call. What I love about shopping on Amazon is that if you don't like it, you can send it back. So, oh, that's cool. Do y'all see that? It folds out like one of those uh, boxes like this. Hold on. It's got some tape. Almost like, what do you call that? Like the old uh, KFC boxes. You could fold it up like that, like a gift. Now that's cool. All right, let's unpack this. Oh, how do, these are pretty big actually. All right. No, y'all just love watching me wrestle with packages. But I wanted to film that because I did not know what the condition of them was gonna be. You don't always know. So, this isn't tight. I mean, it's loosely wrapped. But everything looks okay. Knock on wood. Let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Okay. Feels good. This one's dusty. Oof. I mean, I was going to wash them anyway. I'm just saying. So, no chips or anything like that so far. Here's the lid. The lid does not have a deep hole like I prefer, but that's okay. I mean, I knew that when I was buying it. They had a picture. The quality of the ceramic is dark, almost like a beige brown compared to this white. So, the ceramics, I mean, again, I wasn't hoping for anything high-end here, y'all. Like, I know that. There's one little sharp part on there. I don't know if y'all can see that. But, um, I wasn't, like, expecting high-end what are those marks on there? Do y'all see that? What is that? Is that just dirt? I think maybe so. Um, especially for the price. What is that? Do y'all see that? There's like brown in them. Please tell me somebody did not use these. I don't think they're used. Whatever it was did scratch off. I don't know, y'all. We're going to wash these up really good. First impression, it's on par with the price point of them. Like, straight up. It's exactly what I expected it to be. Um, there is a dragon on one and a... Oh, they're both the same. Okay, on the picture it showed one was going to be a dragon and one was going to be a phoenix. But that is on both. It just depends on which way you hold it. So, like... It shows like that. You know, like them facing each other like a his and a her. So, yeah. I mean, it's meeting my expectations. There's no chips. There's no cracks or anything like that. Let's bring you guys down guy one level here a little bit more. And let's talk about this before we, before we use it. Okay. So, the feel of it is that basic kind of clunky ceramic the lids do kind of flop around in there which is not a good sign let me practice 
you do want this to kind of have this grip. You'll know what I'm talking about. I don't think that they're terrible. Uh, I don't think they're as bad as that blue one I showed y'all in my Gong Fu video. But we are going to clean these up and try them out. But in comparison, I did just do a video on this beautiful one from Harney and Sons, which comes in under $20. And, um, like, this one has a grip. It just, and it doesn't flop around. Like, the lid fits in there. It's in there. Whereas this one does this number. It doesn't feel as bad as that butterfly blue one I got. There's a little hope there. Um, but the actual ceramic itself, I don't know. I mean, it. It feels like on the cheaper side for sure. All right, I'm going to wash them and we're just going to do some pour tests and see what I think about them. The other thing is that the saucers aren't made specific for the Gawan. They don't have that little circle to keep it from sliding around. Like that one keeps this one in place. Whereas this one's just going to do whatever. Kind of disappointed in that. But let me go clean these bad boys. And we'll try it out, and we'll see. We'll see what we're back. I did wash them. They're actually still a little bit wet. The first thing I don't like is that, <clears throat> excuse me, I can already tell you that uh, that's not the business right there. You don't want that to happen. You know what I mean? Like all this clinking and clanging around. Um, for example, in a quality guy one, like, it ain't moving. You know what I mean? I, of course, if you smack the crap out of it, it's going to fall over. But it shouldn't be rocking around like that. It really shouldn't. And little things like that will irk you over time. Just trust me. The lid already has a natural gap, but a bigger one than, than you want. Can y'all see that? That's a pretty big gap. I've got some tea leaves in here compared to a good one from like Harney and Sons. Okay. So I'm just doing these videos to kind of show you guys again um, what to look for there. Let me just pour some water. I'm not going to put any tea leaves in here yet. Just want to see. Oh, and um, I did measure it in my kitchen full. It is about 170, 180 mils, in case you guys are wondering. So, it is a larger guy one. I thought it was kind of cool. There was like this his and her. Look at all that water I left. That's drained off. I thought it would be cool to have like a his and her guy one. But, maybe they'll grow on me. Sometimes I'm like that. Sometimes I'm like, eh, I don't like it. And then, it's a learning curve. And then, once I get used to it. I do like the bigger lip on here. It actually pours nicely. Kind of feel always like, I don't know, first impressions always get me, but sorry, I had this on my shelf and there's dust. I ain't drinking that, okay? So we'll just ignore that fact. So it does actually pour pretty nicely. And do that again. It didn't slip around. Let me do a smaller aperture and see. I don't know, okay? I'll, I'll be honest. It pours pretty freaking nicely. Maybe I can overlook the rattling around a little bit. It does actually grip nice, like as far as the lid. The lid did not slip around like I thought it would. Um, with my longer nails, the fact that my nail don't have to go in like that, I don't actually mind that this is a more shallow topper. That's not that bad. Okay, there's only one thing to do here. We got to have some tea. I'll be back. All right, guys, y'all are in for a special treat because I was just going to do the video, see how it poured, and move along. But the pour was very good. So we're just going to have a little tea sesh. Let me tell you what we're doing. I need to do these two teas. We've got the Hylie's Milk Oolong. Got this off Amazon. I'll leave that link below. Can we appreciate how beautiful the tin is? This is what the lid looks like. Goes on like that. Oh, so pretty. So real. Reminds me of Bacillor teas. Here's what the Oolong looks like. Mmm, green, delicious. And then 
the Harney and Sons milk oolong, milky oolong from my Harney and Sons haul. I will say that both of these, the fragrance is very sweet, like sweet cream. And both of them have milk fragrance added to them. I'm not really down for that. Especially after watching Mayleaf talk about the whole milky oolong thing. But we're going to try it because, you know, that's what they do. All right, these are from Walmart. They are actually the Pioneer Woman cups, her little dip bowl cups. And do y'all know that these work perfect for little teacups? Oh, yes, they do. And that's what we'll be using. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get the oolongs in here. Look at that. Look at it. We're going to do Hylies on this side. And we'll do Harney on the other. If you see this thing over here, that's vintage something. Maybe not. I don't know. I got it at Goodwill. Was going to sell it in my flea market booth. And decided it would work really well for tea. And so I put my liquid on one side and my tea on the other in case I want to boil those down with that little stove that you guys have seen me review. Let me make sure we got about the same amount. Nope. We hooked it up on the Harney and Sun side. Now, um, uh, I do have a, a, a scale. Don't really use it because it's big and bulky. I found one that I want to get. That's about right. That I want to get on Amazon um, that folds up. So, when I get that, I do plan on ordering that so we can weigh out our teas. Put that there. Boy, we're getting into it with this guy one video, aren't we? Scoop this forward. Put that like that. All right. If you guys didn't watch my Harney and Son video, this little spoon you guys can order from Harney. I do have a coupon code below if you haven't ordered with them before. Sorry, I have a tripod. And, um... Doesn't make for the best setup. Oof, that fragrance is strong. When you go to doing straight teas and then you come back to anything that has like, we're rinsing the tea leaves, a fake flavoring in it. It can be a little off-putting in my opinion, in my experience, it can be. So I poured, sorry, I'm trying to keep this in the shot here, poured with the right hand before, which is my dominant hand, but it also pours very nicely with the left as well. Oh, my little water bowl's getting full. The fragrance is, I've actually, um, when I'm making quick notes when I'm filming, I actually do like aroma liquor taste, and I make like really quick notes on the side. So what I like to do is shake my leaves, smell the lid. That fragrance is strong. The Harney and Sons is less. Less milky, which is good. I like that. It's more oolongish. Okay. The milky aroma on this one, I'm not... I, let me just say I'm not a milk fan. <sighs> There's something just overly sweet about that one, like a um, dairy weird smell that I, I, I don't like. I don't like. Now, I never said I was a fan of Milky Oolong either, so this is new for me. That's what those leaves look like. Okay, this one, the Harney and Sons is much more pleasant. There's still that green, almost slightly roasted Oolong flavor and scent underneath. For sure, this one just has like enough of that, that hint of milkiness coming through, but it's not overpowering. This Hylies, um, I definitely think is more geared towards Western style, which is like scented for Western taste. That's really what I think. Whew. All right. Now we got to do the taste. Since y'all stayed with me this long, you're like, Valerie, just tell me what the heck it tastes like. Also, this is the AI cook kettle that I'm using. I have a full video up. Links are always down below for this kettle. So, I'm going to brew that. About 15, 20 seconds or so. That's a, 
that's a general start for me. All tees need to be adjusted sometimes. They are really cool looking. I don't have these red ones, again, in my collection. I may not have had that set down right. I still prefer when they have the little circle, but... They... It is slipping less. It is slipping less than... Um, than I thought it would be. These are slipping less than I thought. It has an actual really nice grip on there. Sorry, I'm pouring the extra out off camera over here. Yeah, the pour on it is really nice. Really, really nice. I'm not upset about that at all. Here's the Harney and Sons, which um, was more tightly rolled, which is good because it, you get more infusions. It kind of takes a little bit to wake them up. And again, the milkiness is a lot more subdued than the Hylies. The Hylies has opened up a lot more. Wasn't as tightly rolled. That's okay. The scent this time is a lot less milk, which is great. But it's still overpowering compared to this one. And I think that's why it's so important when you review a tea to have another one to compare it to to have like this baseline. All right, let's try this. Hmm. It's weird. It's like I'm drinking green tea. All right, well, I can already tell y'all right now, hands down, this Harney wins, and I'm going to tell you why. Not just because of the scent is better. This one, you drink it, it's, let me, let me drink it and describe it. Okay, this one has kind of like that light green oolong thing, but it also has that twang of whatever flavoring they put in there. Whereas the Hardy and Sons, okay, the Hardy and Sons weirdly has this creaminess to it. It doesn't have that weird milky twang to it. Now, let me just say, this is not bad. It's not horrible. It's just not for me. But compared to this one, y'all, it is good. It's got... I can't believe it. It it almost has like this creaminess to it. Uh, yes. It's almost like someone literally added milk to it, like a cream. And if you tasted this blonde, I would swear that someone gave me tea with cream in it. A hundred percent. This one is far superior, y'all. I ain't putting nobody down. But taste preference, that's money. That's good. Duh. Okay, so final thoughts here. These, for the price, they're not bad. They are a great beginner gawan. I think they would um, be nice if you're just starting out or you're, you know someone that's just starting out. Um, the only downfall I have is this one wiggles a lot more than this one. This one, this one is not as bad. That one's actually pretty stable. It's this one. So, I mean, one out of the two ain't bad. I can overlook that. It's just something that irritates me. They pour really nice. They hold a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, it does the job, which is really all you can ask out of a guy one. It does the job. Um, yeah. And other, if you could put up with a rocking guy one, Hey, you can get two for 20 bucks. You know what I mean? That's not really that bad. Aesthetically, it's very cliche. Something you would expect. Like, you know, as a souvenir when you go over overseas. So, I mean, there's that. It's not, 
gorgeous and it's not hand painted it's transfer wear let me see if I can show y'all it is transfer wear so I mean overall I think it's an okay buy for a beginner I don't think you should go out of your way to buy this if you want to add it to your collection but I think it would be a great gift um I don't think anyone would be mad to receive it but it's definitely not high end so there's that. I'll just leave you guys with my thoughts on that. As far as the tea, boy, y'all better run, not walk, to get you some Milky Oolong from Harney and Sons. Because y'all know their teas sell out quick. So there it is. If you guys like these types of videos, remember to subscribe. Comment down below. I'll be sure to answer anything I can for you guys. I'm going to enjoy some Milky Oolong. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I would like to come back and make an addendum to this video. Because I felt like first impressions were pretty harsh on the Hylies. So I've been sitting here just kind of doing like some notes. Sometime, well, let, let me back that up. First infusion is not always what this tea is going to be. Sometimes teas have to reveal themselves to you, which is why Eastern Brewing is so fun because what you taste the first round is not what you're going to taste the second, the third, and so on. In this case, the first infusion was not palatable to me. However, upon having more of the High Lease tea, okay, it has turned into a really good, like, sour oolong tea. It makes the sides of your tongue salivate. And if you've ever had an oolong like that, more of the green oolong, you know what I'm talking about. It's good. This one is probably the most sour candy, sour apple I've ever had. There's not the hint of creaminess that the Harney and Sons has. So I wouldn't drink this to get that creamy milk oolong flavor like I would this one. If I want creamy milk oolong, I'm going to reach for Harney and Sons. However, this has turned out to be a really fun, really juicy, really good green sour oolong which is my favorite i love the kind that make your tongue just water your mouth and it salivates and it tingles that's what this one has turned into and i'm not mad about it i just don't think they should market it as a milky oolong because to me it's just not that um the scent of it is but not the taste so i just wanted to say it it wasn't a good milk oolong to start but it's turned out to be a really good sour green oolong and I'm not mad about that.